Hello, today I'll be showing you the best way to go netherite farming. Um, I personally think that these are one of the, like, the top ways to get netherite because, well, I, uh, kind of got plenty of netherite. I, I'll show you the st statistics real quick of how long I've been freaking getting netherite for. Qu I make, I made quite a few, uh, pieces of netherite ingots. And, uh, yeah, I, I think I might know how to get another right. The first thing I'd say you'd probably need is, uh, I guess plenty of TNT if you have anything on here, on, on you. And I'll, I'll show you what, like, if you don't have TNT, then you can always use, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you the ways to, like, use beds and stuff. It, I'd say this is probably good enough. I'll mine over here. And away from that, since that's, uh, that biome. No one likes that biome. I'll head down here. Oh crap. Um whoops. Well don't don't jump directly into some lava because uh, you're gonna die if you do that. As always, as everyone knows, uh, Y15 is probably a good place to mine, or at least that's what I know. But what we're gonna do is mine straight for like just for a little while. Also, if you want to get gold, I'd recommend using a silk touch pickaxe because you can get quite a lot of gold in the nether. I got like three stacks of, of golden blocks. It's very helpful. So, I'd recommend spacing out the TNT by around three to five blocks apart. I'll show you uh, both ways. Because of TNT, so let's see how much I can get of another way. I don't recommend three blocks apart because yeah, that's why. And while that, all that's uh, blowing up, drink your fire res potion and start patching up all the lava. Now that all the lava is cleared, you can collect as many resources as, as much as you want. I'd recommend collecting like just absolutely everything because who knows, you might need quartz or gold eventually, but you know. Oh. I'd also recommend reorganizing your inventory to like just so you won't have that much, as much nether rack because when you go TNT mining, you get quite a lot of nether rack. So yeah. This is how much I've gotten using one stack of TNT and spreading the TNT out by three blocks. Alright, so another way to mine with TNT is by placing it four blocks away from the next piece of TNT. One, two, three, four, place. One, two, three, four, place. All right, so I placed down all the TNT. That's it. that is one stack, and it is spread four blocks apart. And I will light it. The main issue with the four block apart TNT placement is that sometimes the TNT is not able is, is too far to be lit, but you have less lava problems. This is what I got using the four block apart TNT strategy. And the last strategy for TNT is by placing the TNT one, two, three, four, five blocks apart. Do it like one, two, three, four, five, place a block, one, two, three, four, five, place a block. The advantage of this tactic is that uh, you won't really have that many problems with lava but the main issue of this tactic is that it's you got to keep on relighting the tnt to have it can, like the chain reaction won't work as well this is from the five block apart tnt strategy 
this one is a lot riskier because of how how much TNT you putting in one place. Uh, you put the TNT two blocks away from the last one, like this. One, two, place, one, two, place. The advantage of the two block apart TNT strategy is that quite a lot of um, space removed, but y you have an issue with lava and you don't, you uh, use a lot more TNT in a smaller area. And this is from the two block apart TNT strategy. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and if you have, then, well, well y you know, you know what to do, but, uh, oh, no, wait, that's the wrong thing, like, subscribe, this man's asking for iron, you a mod, dude.